Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming from Beckley's Camping Center today to talk to you about 2018 2950 RK Imagine by Grand Design. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call Beckley's, stop by or email Beckley's, be sure to ask for Paul the Air Force guy and I'll be glad to help you, show you around and so forth. Find you your perfect camper. Now, let's go ahead and start on the outside of the camper. First thing you notice on the front, when you look at the front cap, it is a molded fiberglass front cap. Um, and below that, you're gonna have a rock guard. You're gonna see 20 pound tanks, power tongue jack. Of course, we'll put a battery on there. Moving around to the side, you're gonna notice uh, you're gonna have a very big door opening. You'll see the black tank rinse. You'll notice a light to help you out when you get to your campsite if it's dark. Uh, looking at the service area, you're gonna see that you have a place to hook up water, your cable, and of course all the different things that you're gonna be doing with this camper, uh, sanitizing it, uh, filling your fresh water tank and so forth. Then also check out the massive storage, and they have lights on both sides. They are sensor lights. Moving to the back, you're gonna notice, of course you're gonna have your bumper with the spare tire, you're also gonna have it wired in frame for that rear observation camera as well as the ladder. Now on your door side, what you're gonna notice, you're gonna have do two doors. You have a door heading into the kitchen uh, with the awning above it as well as the door to the front going into your bedroom area with the, you know, the awning there as well. And notice the LED light strip, your outside stereo speakers and so forth. So there you have it. That is the outside of the camper. Let's get started with the inside of the camper. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice when you come in the door here, of course, there's going to be a central light above us, but this is your area where you're going to check all your levels, turn your water heater on, outside lights, meaning the lights for underneath your awning, ceiling light, and move out your slide and awning. Then looking through here, as you can see, you're going to have your dinette booth. I'll show you that again. Across from that, you have the TV that moves up and down. You also have uh, the AM FM CD stereo down below that with a DVD player that is Bluetooth and then of course you can see you have the nice 26 inch electric fireplace now I will have all the specifications as well as the pricing down below sometimes I misspeak and I try to correct that when we're putting it down below there you see you have the RV refrigerator and you have this little drawer down below here and that has the bowls for your uh, for your four-legged uh, family members and of course, you're going to notice how big your pantry area is here. Lots of storage there, as you can see. Lots of storage. Moving back around to the back, you're going to see, of course, you have the Furion oven. And then, of course, these things light up. They're 12 volt, which is real nice. So you can see that they're lit up blue. Of course, now this thing's folded up, but this folds down quite nicely. Makes it a nice flush mounted cooktop. And then look at all that counter space, spice rack. You have, there's a 110 outlet back in this area here. Makes it nice, but you get a place to put things. You have drawers down below. And these drawers are full extension drawer glides. And it's wood all the way around. Good storage up underneath as well, as you can see on both sides so a lot of things you can do with this and of course more drawers very easily accessible for your uh, breakers and fuses right there by the door heat ducts up off the floor of course you can see it's vented to the outside you've got your microwave up above and of course you get storage cabinets above here above the kitchen and of course they're very deep as for you Plenty of storage place, space for you. Let's take a look through here one last time. Also, did you notice the window, nice big window behind the sink? There's, of course, your dinette booth, which breaks down to a bed. You also have the uh, storage down below that, storage behind it. Again, the heat duct, 110 outlet down below there. Storage. And, of course, notice how high that faucet is on the sink. And look at how big this sink is as well. Huge sink. Gives you a lot of room to do your larger dishes. 
So again, this is your kitchen area. Of course, you can see the ducted AC up in the ceiling. This also has a power vent fan. Now, it's a smaller one. Nice thing with this power vent fan is the fact you don't have to open any windows when you're using it. Again, the TV does uh, pull up from behind here. So that'll actually block that window, but see if you're not watching the TV, then you're able to go ahead and uh, put it down and you have the additional light that comes in. So there you have it for the TV. Good size TV that would be in here. Notice how wide the doors are. Also notice that, you know, no ducks, ducks on the floor as I had mentioned. Nice big wide pocket doors. Now, this is a large bathroom. You've got some good sufficient counter space in here. And again, look at how large that, that shower is. And of course you can see back behind here, you can see you have the storage back behind. I'm trying to get an angle so you can see it. See the storage back behind here. Those are there. And look at all this space you have in front of the toilet. But if you're in here, nice thing is, you know, you could set your towel on the floor, you could throw your uh, clothes on the bed. It's very open. Of course, you can see the window in here, AC in here. Of course, you have the vent in the bathroom as well. And then, of course, this is a queen size bed. You're going to have storage on either side of your bed. Let me just show you how big, how much storage you have. So this is your storage on either side of the bed, as well as having a drawer, and that's a full extension drawer glide again. Now on this side of the bed, you're going to have um, one 10 outlet, as well as your USB port. On the other side, you will have one 10 outlets, and of course you have the storage above there. You got reading lights, and really what I love about how they do things is look at how high that bed gets up out of the way. So now, and it holds it up, you don't need to use your head, but now if I want to get over here, it makes it very easy for me to get inside there for that. And of course, you have the emergency window, your thermostat is back here, you can mount a TV over there, you do a vent in here, and of course with, this, with the doors being pocket doors, you can see that there is not an issue with them. And of course, then you have the, your entrance door, exit door, whatever you'd like to call outlets down low out of the way. Notice how the heat ducts again as I mentioned they're up off the floor. Does a very very good job. Just give you one last look at what this camper looks like. So there you have it. This is a 2018 2250 RK Imagine by Grand Design. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, email, or stop by Beckley's Camping Center. You ask for Paul the Air Force guy. I appreciate you watching. Check out the rest of my uh, videos, my uh, channel. I have how-to videos. I have vlogs I do on Sundays, as well as uh, how-to and product recommendations. And I got more coming down the pike. If there's something in particular you'd like me to talk about, something to review, if we carry it, I'll do my best to do that, and if, you, if you're part of a group and you need somebody to come speak at, at, at your gathering, by all means reach out to me and we'll see what we can do. Again, thanks and we'll be seeing you here shortly.